Hey guys, I'm Tyler and welcome back to Learn the Logic, a series where I talk about something that I built and why I built it the way that I did. Today, we're going to talk about my drill storage, drill bit storage, and drill charging station. I built this quite a while ago now, back in the old shop, and this was one of my first really popular videos on YouTube. So it holds a special place in my heart, and it is very, very useful to this day, and still a big hit on YouTube and on Instagram. What did I solve by building this drill storage unit? Well, it's pretty obvious that there is a lot of stuff in one small little area. Back in the day, I used to have chargers spread out upon my very precious horizontal work surfaces how to dig through drawers to the pile of drill bits on the bottom of the drawer. And then the drills were laying all over the place. If you didn't have a battery on the drill, they would tip over and there was no real good way to keep that stuff organized. Now, all the drill bits are right there in a vertical, easily accessible area, visible right when you walk up here. The drill bits can be stored nice and neat, whether they have a battery on there or not. And then there's chargers over here, there's chargers on the side over there, and I've even had a charger up here in the past as well. And it all is nice and neat, and it is all in one area, so you can get your drill, drill bit, and battery, and then fasteners right over here, but that's a side note, right when you walk over here in one location. Did anything arise from building this drill storage unit? Well, it's one of those things that you don't even realize as you're building it, and it takes somebody from the outside, another set of eyes to say, hey, why didn't you do this this way? And you just think to yourself, man, oh man, why didn't I think of that? It's funny how the human brain, me, overlooks some of the most simple concepts until somebody points it out to you, and then you just, you just don't understand why you didn't think of something like that. But in this situation, all of the drill bits that I have in the cabinet section, which opens up here, as you can see, to another section in the back, all of those drill bits are vertical right now. And someone said, why don't you just tip them out at a slight angle and you can put way more drill bits in there, getting a much denser storage solution. And that's brilliant. I haven't gotten around to doing that. But one of these days when I need to get some more drill bits up here, I will without a doubt angle those front brackets that are on French cleats a little bit and get a little bit denser storage solution up on the front there. What did this drill storage unit cost to build? For me, absolutely nothing because it is 100% upcycled materials from the big long workbench that was spanning the back wall of the old shop. Kind of miss the old shop. It's pretty good here though, pretty good. But if you were to build this from scratch, you could definitely get it out of one sheet of plywood, probably even less than that. So let's say it's somewhere between $20 and $40 to build this storage solution and a couple scraps of 2x4. How did I go about building this? It's a relatively simple build. It's all butt joints with wood glue and brad nails. The bottom there has some sections cut out with a jigsaw so that you can slip the drills into place. And then all of the French cleats in the cabinet section were cut on the table saw and glue and tacked into place. Very simple build and you can put this together in a night or two or definitely in one Saturday afternoon. Some important dimensions on this. This build sticks out nine inches minus the handle away from the wall and that also is not counting the three quarter inch French cleat on this one. So it sticks out a little bit more than that nine inches but the bulk of the unit is nine inches deep. It is 26 inches wide and 36 and a half inches tall on the tallest section from here down to here. And the drills hang a little bit lower than that, obviously, as you can see right here. Would I build this thing again? Absolutely without question. This is one of my favorite things in the shop. And as I said, it was a big hit on YouTube and people still really love when I post pictures of this on Instagram, which if you guys aren't following me, you should. DIY Tyler G on Instagram. It is generally a fantastic time over there. But I would absolutely do this again. It is a great storage and organization solution. Very dense, got everything in one spot here. And if you guys would like to build this, I have a link in the description below where you can download the free set of PDF plans. And if you do build it, please tag me on Instagram or send me an email. I've actually gotten quite a few emails for this build. I absolutely love seeing what you guys build from my ideas over here. If I was to do this again, there's a couple things that I probably would change. The first one would be to incorporate this dual charger that Rigid Power Tools offers now. Unfortunately, this wasn't available when I built this unit. Otherwise, I probably would have incorporated that into it 
which means the whole unit would have to be slightly deeper to incorporate that side-by-side -side battery charging capability. And I would without doubt incorporate the angled French cleats into the front right away so that I could have a denser drill bit solution on the front there. And maybe I would add a second drawer as I relatively quickly filled this one up. I would also probably try to incorporate some better method of storing the batteries. I've gotten a lot of different and bigger batteries since I built this thing. And it would be nice to be able to have a little bit better storage than just stacking them right there once they're charged. I guess that's quite a few things to change. Maybe I should just build another one of these in the near future. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Learn the Logic. Again, if you want plans to build this thing on your own, Follow the link in the description below to get those free PDF plans. If you guys enjoyed this, please hammer that thumbs up button. Helps this video gain some traction and helps us out a ton. Hit the subscribe button right over there so you never miss when we upload a new video. I'm DIY Tyler, and you guys have a good one.